everyone and welcome to the Fry Smiles Oral Health Network. I am your host Scott Fry and today on the show we're going to be talking about desensitizing toothpaste. Now while any toothpaste that contains fluoride will have a limited ability to reduce sensitivity with your teeth, there are really only two main types of commercially available desensitizing toothpaste. And the first type we're going to be talking about is what I would classify as potassium-based desensitizing toothpaste. Now, this particular uh, type of desensitizer is the most widely available, and it's based on the principle that <clears throat> if you surround these very sensitive nerves that are um, exposed to the oral environment on areas of exposed dentin, like exposed roots, uh, if you expose them to lots of potassium, what ends up happening is these nerves are depolarized and in time become less sensitive. Unfortunately, although this is very effective, um, oftentimes it takes about two to four weeks for you to get some sort of relief from these particular types of toothpaste. But this is present in your uh, Crest Pro Health, your Sensodyne, lots of things that you can get readily at your pharmacy. <clears throat> the second class of desensitizing toothpaste is what I would call calcium-based desensitizers. And these work in a fashion similar to how your body remineralizes your teeth. And what these intend to do, as opposed to depolarizing your nerves, what they're going to do is use calcium to plug up these open pores on exposed dentin and reduce sensitivity that way. And there are two basic <clears throat> classes of toothpastes within this category that are pro-origin technology, and that's owned by Colgate, uh, and you can get that from them. And then there's also the MI paste, which uses um, a milk protein, which is this part. You don't really need to know what that stands for, but I'll post, post it on the blog down below anyway. And this last part, which is uh, an amorphous calcium phosphate. And <clears throat> what's really great about these toothpastes is it provides more of an instantaneous relief. And you can even just take some on your finger simply and rub it onto sensitive areas to help provide some relief and plug up those pores in the meantime. But both of these categories are widely available and if you're interested in more of an instantaneous relief, which I particularly prefer to try first, then I would go with these calcium-based desensitizers. If that doesn't work for you, why don't you try um, the other class, which would be the potassium desensitizers, but it's going to take a little bit longer. So, I hope everyone found that helpful today, and I hope everyone here, at least in the Lehigh Valley, has checked out uh, the newspaper over the weekend. Um, we got uh, a big article published on the More Than Smiles movement, and I'm really excited about that. And I want to thank everyone in the Fry Smiles community and all the supporters nationwide of the More Than Smiles movement for all your support and making this possible. Thanks, everyone.